Welcome to my POV, motherfuckers. And today, we got a special guest. Spin back for round two. <laughs> it's your boy, Big HSD, around here. Get everybody, give him a round of applause, on, man. Give him a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, man, how you been, man? I've been all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Just making it day by day. You feel me? Yeah, hell fucking yeah, nigga. That's what niggas got to do. Uh, By the way, y'all. We're doing something new for this time of this episode. We're streaming on Kick right now, and uh, it's still going to go out on like Spotify and everything for y'all, for those who are like listening. Obviously, those of you watching, it'll still be on the YouTube, but you know, I'm trying to do a live streaming thing with it, and yeah, the TikTok is up there. Make sure you <laughs> follow us on fucking TikTok, or follow me on TikTok. His TikTok will be... Somewhere in the description, you'll find him. I, you can't miss him. He's HXD. This nigga's the biggest artist that I've met in Arizona. The so. real one, not the fake one. Yeah, the real <laughs> HXD. Okay. Speaking of that, last time you were on the podcast, we didn't really get to dwell deep into your music career. So that's kind of what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. You just had a show not too long ago. Didn't you like the whole little fashion show and shit? So... <clears throat> Yeah, um, last week, I think well, I want to say Saturday. Yeah, we had a we had a fashion show, and we had it was a fashion show. It was like a hardcore show, and it was a rave type shit. So like, damn, a whole bunch of fucking events put in one type shit. Yeah, Actually, so you know what I'm saying. Everything in the beginning, the beginning of the day went good. Like the whole runway thing was all right, but your boy didn't end up get to performing actually because a lot of the shit was pushed back. So. But yeah, nah, the runway thing went, went smooth. I got some clips for a, a video that I put together. Hopefully that'll be in one of these links around. Yo, one K, who the fuck, why are you telling us that you on Snap? Who you is? Girl, what's up with you? Did you even hit the follow <laughs> button for you just asking people to add you on the Snap? Did you hit the follow button? But okay, my bad. I was just trying to log in. I got to send the notes out to everybody. But that's Indeed. fucking fire. That you even got that opportunity to go out there and do that. Didn't, wasn't oh, yeah. you like supposed to open up for somebody? Um, Yeah, Broly 500 was supposed to slide through. But honestly, him not coming is kind of what fucked everything up. Because the people who went, that was before his set, mm-hmm. they went into his set. And it was supposed to be just that. But then they went over even more. So that pushed everything back for the whole show. Damn. Okay, yeah. so that's kind of fucked. Yeah. Yeah, Broly 500, we're dissing you on... No, <laughs> Nah, it's all love to Broly, you know what I'm saying? But it oh, would have yeah, been nice. Guess. Yeah, I'd have been like, I don't even know who Broly 500 is, but like, hey, if niggas deep enough to get a whole fucking show going for him, nigga have a whole little thing set up for him, nigga, that'd have been an opportunity right there and a mm-hmm. blessing to even meet the nigga, let alone just you know, open up for the nigga, which is always fire. Oh yeah, but I ain't mad. I got I got my compensation. So you feel me? That's fucking amazing. We finna take a shot, y'all. Indeed. It's six o'clock somewhere, nigga. <laughs> I think it's five, buddy, but... <laughs> mm. Woo! So, what was one of the reasons why you wanted to start doing music? Like, what began your whole, like, you know, Man. idealism behind it? Um, I feel like it's, like, it's so deep in my family, in my blood, in my life, and like, I noticed even more recently, like, I use music and listen to music a lot more than a lot of people, like, even my girlfriend, she don't really listen to music much unless she's doing her hair or taking a shower or something, but I mean, I wake up, turn some music on, and I have music on all the way till I go to sleep. Bro said live and die by the music. Hey, you feel me? Like, that's that's really what it is. Yeah, that's and then you know you got it in your blood. <laughs> when I first started making it, honestly, I feel like this is a bad reason, but... I made it this far off of that, but when I originally started making music, I was just seeing like a lot of the people that was blowing up, and I'm like, I'm way better than this nigga. Like, I'm way better than this nigga. Like, there's no reason that I can't be, I can't get lit off my rap if this nigga is. Especially with some of the shit that niggas be dropping, bro. Mm-hmm. That what's that one nigga that he does like this weird ass shit? He's like, I did, 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 did. he's like, I just went to the so 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 so. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, 
Damn, I can't think of. Uh, I don't even know that nigga's you name. You know Miles? Bro. That nigga, you know Miles, bro? Yeah. Bro, that nigga, like, if niggas can blow up doing shit like that, like, a nigga, if y'all never heard his music, look him up on Spotify, yeah, Apple Music, hilarious, YouTube, bro. nigga, HXD. It's three letters, my nigga. You will find it. Facts. This nigga makes fire ass music. I got that shit tatted. <laughs> Boy, it's embedded in this man. Nigga got it printed on him. But okay, man. that's fire. Who are your, like, uh, who are, like, your starting inspirations? And, like, who's, like, your inspiration now because like you've evolved within your yeah. music i love that time. you so asked like, that question like that because i feel like a lot of people don't think enough to ask it like that but i want to say originally starting off like my biggest inspirations was probably like eminem and ski like i love like the fast rapping like the being able to chop up on a beat like that and it actually sounds good because i know a lot of people that rap fast but it don't really sound like it just like you just saying words. You feel me? They just they just saying that shit. It don't it don't have no it don't have no like character to it. But like them niggas was able to add emotion and character and build a whole like personality off of their raps and shit. So like originally that's how I started off. Like I definitely like the fun aspects of it. Like just having a good time making a song rather than thinking too hard about making it sound great. But then over time I've uh I'll say like trippy, like older trippy for sure. Like I always admired the um, that he always wanted to make like timeless music. So that was one thing that I uh, I changed up a bit. Like I went from make just having fun with the music because of course that that helps get you somewhere. But like mm-hmm. I want to make something that Actually, five years sure. later, you're like and this shit still hit. <laughs> and it's you know crazy I mean? you said trippy because like that nigga trippy red really made like timeless music. Like nigga, I was just listening to uh, Romeo and Juliet the other day on mm-hmm. bro. You know, play app, blah. PlayStation <laughs> got Apple Music on it, my nigga. I didn't. What the fuck? Nigga, I got Apple Music on my PS5, right? So I'm sitting there listening to shit. Nigga, uh, Love Letter to You came on. Nigga, it's playing Romeo and Juliet. I'm like, nigga, this shit is hitting, nigga. I dropped, nigga, I went crazy that game just because mm-hmm. the song, like, nigga. Mm-hmm. And it's just crazy because he dropped that shit, like, way back. It's been almost a decade, bro. It's been yeah. almost a decade. And that's, like, bro, it's just crazy to see, like, Artists evolve like mm-hmm. y'all niggas like really start from somewhere and change like even my shit when I was making music nigga I started at some shit and like nigga that shit evolved into its own shit mm-hmm. like a bunch of shit bro <laughs> shit's crazy as fuck bro shit <laughs> yeah but that's cr- that's fire as fuck nigga you definitely oh, yeah. and you know I love that like. You ain't like no copycat ass nigga. Cause most niggas come on and be like, "Oh yeah, bro, I listen to Tupac and yeah. Biggie," or like I listen to like you know Michael Jet. Like, bro, this oh, nigga God. said Eminem was his inspiration. Like, niggas bro. be like, "Hey, Jay Z's my favorite rapper." I'm like, like bro. all right, bro. Like, you're, nigga. you're born in 2007. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, "You ain't from that time, nigga. Where your shoes at, nigga?" Cause that's <laughs> and it's craziest. Like, that's why I'm like, bro, you're literally solidified. Like, you started your goat path with that. Cause like, nigga, off the rip, you just came in. On your own shit. Like, nigga, there's, there's Eminem fans, obviously, but, like, nigga, I've never t- went to someone was like, who's your favorite artist in, like, Eminem? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, nigga, you were the for first real. nigga, and I was like, I used to clown you for that shit, but I'm like, bro, you, this nigga listens to Eminem, hey, man. For like, real. Nigga. We'll go to freestyle, and be like, you better not pull up no Eminem type beat. Like, I'm not even... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna do that, man. Relax. This nigga used to... What's that? The Godzilla song? What's, what's it called? Uh... I'm pretty sure God's God's uh, one too. Yeah, that's the rap god shit. Yeah, yeah, that nigga, bro, you got. I used nigga. to pride myself on on knowing all them lyrics. And it was fire too, cause I was a Wayne fan, nigga. So like, I feel like our flows, like we didn't have like the same flow, but like our lyrical touches on shit, like nigga, yeah. we would say shit like that. Niggas just would not like catch on, like nigga, you gotta really tap facts, in, nigga, bro, tap facts. the fuck in, nigga, lock in, nigga. <laughs> all right, so yeah, what's yeah. been your favorite part about? Being a music artist so far, like, what's been um, your favorite thing? Honestly, I want to say as of recently, like, I love performing, but I feel like I need to get, like, a, a better stage, which would have been the show last time, but, you know. But I definitely like just being around, like, other artists. Like, other artists who are actually, like, serious about their craft. Like, a lot of the events I go to, a lot of people that, like, that are there, they actually give a fuck about what they're doing mm-hmm. instead of just being like, oh, yeah, I make music and, like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm the shit already. And it's like, bro, nobody knows who you are. You feel me? Like, everybody who I fuck with, 
always strives to get to the next level. So, like, I, I love all the people that I'm surrounded with with my artistry. Niggas average 100 streams and think they made it. Like, bro. <laughs> niggas. For real. Bro, and then, nigga, the next thing they drop, nigga, got five plays. Like, come on, bro. And then, like, bouncing off ideas. Like, like I definitely love starting off with a piece of work and just watching it become what it's supposed to be from that little piece. Like, you know what I mean? From, like, like your like, your imagination behind it? Yeah, yeah, like, just the idea I have, whether it be a word, or if I, I have a beat in mind, and I, like, I get it, and it builds all the way up until the masterpiece that I had in my mind, you feel me? Like, that shit's always, it's, it's fulfilling, you feel me? Like, that's one of the things that a lot of people don't get out of their music is the fulfillment, and that's why they quit. I hear that, nigga. What's one of your, uh, what's, like, what do you dislike the most about being an artist, like, what, like, have you had any, like, bad experiences? Um, as far as, like, like the music essentially, the, the opposite, like, the niggas that think they're too cool, like, I hate going out to shit, and, like, us being from Arizona, we already don't have too much of a platform, like, nobody's scouting us, nobody's looking, oh, yeah, the next artist from Arizona, even yeah. though we are on the West Coast, we're between two meccas, California and Texas, like, everybody's always there and then there they jump right over us so it's like yeah, niggas need to click up out here you feel me like and everybody's always like oh uh, arizona this da, da, da. it's like bro you diss your city in your own state more than anybody else you feel me like arizona bro my fault i ain't trying to cut you off no, you're, arizona you're, you're, niggas hate arizona the most and i don't facts, understand it facts. i fucking love arizona i don't like that the people out here okay I'm not saying i don't like arizona people like arizona niggas is cool it's when you get them niggas that came from... Because right now we got... This is the new hot spot. And I don't understand. Facts. We <laughs> have niggas coming from fucking everywhere. And y'all niggas are fucking up Arizona. Y'all niggas coming from Cali. Y'all get kicked out your own hood. Now you're in this spot thinking that you're big tough shit. Nigga, you, you, you're you not even validated where you're from. Let's go ahead and stop right there, nigga. You're not valid. Yeah. I don't know. Chicago thing. niggas. These niggas got ran out of Chicago. Talking about, oh, yeah, bro, I can't even go back to Chicago. These niggas got a bounty on my head. The nigga don't come out here trying to act like we won't put one on your I, head, too. Nigga. I used to like, work with fuck? a nigga who had to cut his dreads because of some shit that was going on in Cali. Like, you you cut your hair and you move states. Like, damn, nigga, it was that serious? <laughs> yeah, nigga, whatever you think you're doing, buddy, you're not doing. I'll nigga, find those niggas out there. Nigga, the witness protection program. Nigga, <laughs> like, nigga, whatever the fuck you thought you were, you're not. So let's yeah. not come over here and act like you're a big... I understand if you're an active nigga still, and you just coming down here to make a little bit of work, nigga, you go back and forth. Cool. Then you a nigga I respect. All right, nigga. You on that shit patch? I don't even like being in that shit, so <laughs> you got it, nigga. But, like, niggas, that be like, oh, yeah, bro, I can't even go back to where I'm from. Nigga. Hey, you know, another thing is, like, being as, I, I don't really, like, I strayed away from, like, the rap scene out here, because, like I said, they're not really supportive, but, like, the uh, the rave and hardcore shit, like, bro, they're, they need to chill with the hardcore drugs, bro. It's been, like, five times that I've been offered coke in the past week, and it's like, damn, I'm in a week? Damn. I'm good. I'm good, buddy. Like, I fuck with you. You cool people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody need their vice, but it's not mine. And that's definitely something too, like niggas in not saying like niggas in Arizona are crackheads, but like nigga, you definitely can find the shit out here. Yeah. Like nigga, whatever what my daddy always say, nigga, what you want, nigga? I know somebody. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. Nigga, I'll get you a break. Nigga, like, hold on, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, nah, like nigga, real. my daddy don't even that nigga don't even smoke weed. So if this nigga can find you a brick, like nigga, you can literally find the drugs out here, which is mm -hmm. nigga, it's even crazy because like fet starting to become something out here. Remember yeah, Layla, bro? bro? Remember Layla? Bro, that bitch... I'm fat now, man. That shit is crazy as fuck, nigga. But nigga, cheers to us doing what the fuck we like to do. Because nigga, I would say... I agree with you. As far as like... Uh, niggas don't like to support each other out here. Like nigga, that's why mm -hmm. I'm trying to do this right here. Because like... Nigga, I want to make sure... Hold on, lock in, twin. Hmm. I want to make sure that niggas is being here for each other and shit. Because, like, bro, like I said, I got a podcast shit. Mm -hmm. You know how back in the day, bro, when we used to hit the mall, and I used to just be able to walk up to niggas and be like, hey, bro, hey, nigga, you listen to music? Like, hey, nigga, check my music. Remember I used to, nigga, I went to the mall the other day. Why niggas act like they don't know what a conspiracy theory is? <laughs> I'm like, hey, 
Uh, what's one conspiracy theory that you believe in? I don't know what a conspiracy theory is. Nigga, is water wet? Like, nigga, there you go. That's just, <laughs> like, bro, like. No way. And that's why that's I started terrible. doing. That's why I started doing the, uh, is the water wet videos on my TikTok. Make sure y'all checking that shit out right then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go to the TikTok. Because, nigga, yeah. like I said, bro, I was asking niggas, like, what's your. What's a, nigga, I almost started asking people to do pineapple belonga on pizza because I literally, like, <laughs> niggas are so. And it's like, I don't believe that you really don't know what a conspiracy theory is, nigga. Niggas know who Joe Rogan is. We're not going to sit here and. Act like this nigga is not something that's known. We're not gonna sit here and act like you've never had a government conversation. Like the moon nigga. landing, nigga, that's probably the the biggest one. That's shit you learn in school. <laughs> nigga, did Columbus discover America? Like, nigga, Pangea. Like, bro, this is all shit that niggas know about. But like these niggas out here, they just act like, oh yeah, uh, this is kinda awkward. You just even Donnell told me, Lil Donnell, we was up at the um at the uh fuck what's it called? At my daddy ranch. Mm-hmm. And he was like I was talking about how I do the podcast and shit. He was like, oh, you one of those people that walk up to people? And I was like, I try, you know, like nigga trying to get content <laughs> with anybody. He was like, yeah, I'm the type of nigga to tell y'all niggas fuck off. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> he was like, I went to Miami, bro, and they walked up to me. He was like, I basically told that nigga to get the fuck on. Like, nigga, get the, get the fuck on. Like, <laughs> Damn. Damn. Nigga, hey, this nigga just trying to, you know what I'm saying, elevate his platform. Now, right. now, you have to tell him to fuck off. He was like, hey, man, you know, I'll be a nigga. And I was like... I, no, but I, I I know how I be to be in his shoes. Like a nigga that's like, hey, bro, like you look like a, you're a black man. I feel like we can be supporting each other. Facts. Don't get me started on that black man supporting. I'm about to bring up Kanye again. Let's not even get to that. Nigga. All right. Speaking of Kanye, nah, I ain't even going to do that, nigga. We ain't going to talk about Kanye. We ain't going to talk about Kanye. <laughs> not, not this one, nigga. The last one. Hey, you know what's crazy? You were on one of my like most viral clips from my TikTok. You dude. know, uh, my girlfriend actually showed me she was, we was on the, her explore page. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy as fuck. Man. <laughs> that's crazy as fuck. That shit's so real, nigga, bro. That was that alien shit, yeah. bro. For some reason, niggas ate that shit up, bro. And speaking of which, it's crazy because Jordan had brought it up to me because we was talking to my neighbor one time. Uh, we was outside skating. And he was like, "Oh, I ain't never seen no nigga skateboard before." And so it was just we Damn. we blew his whole mind. Who was like we niggas and we telling him the shit that we do. Like nigga, we make mm-hmm. we make rock music. We skateboard. We do all kind of shit. Like he was like, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. And he just started talking about how white people ain't real for like two and a half hours. I'm like, look, bro, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home because like you got it, nigga. Yeah, you feel me? Like I kind of agree with you, but at the same time, you kind of. You're a little late, nigga. A lot of black people done started taking them to skateboarding. If you ain't never seen one, nigga, that's because you I shot wear my fucking Boo Johnson. Like, these niggas skate. Lil mm. Wayne, nigga? Like, Lil Wayne. Like, nigga, what the fuck? You fucking just Tyler, had, the creator. Like, when's the last time you been to a skate park? Nigga, like, when's the you... last time you turned on the TV? <laughs> yeah, nigga, like, goddamn. Nigga, and it wasn't the news. Cause you over there watching black people getting shot. That's what them niggas... All right, I ain't Facts. getting into that today. Facts. Man, today. Hey, what's, what's understood doesn't need to be said. Nigga, tell him again, cause these niggas can't hear. Niggas say, say it again, nigga. All right, uh, I got another question for your music shit. Let me think of it right quick. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, tell them about your latest song, and uh, I guess give us a whole rundown, like how all okay. that. That's the one that the one that you that you've been like crafting together for. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm glad you asked me about that. Cause let them know I the name of it and everything. Like, let yeah, it, yeah, let for sure. It's, it's called Break Bread. It's on all platforms. It's with me, my boy, and Holy Glock, and they love JN, my little cousin Justin, and we were trying to put my boy on. Hey, he man. definitely, he got that shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. He dropping the EP pretty soon. Thank but God. he got that shit. But, no, I've been, um, we've been putting this shit together since like December. I, had, I came up with the idea. I was, at the time, I was just... I feel like I have to show these niggas. Like, a lot of the songs that I'm coming out with, like, now, it's, I have to show these niggas. Stunning on niggas. So, like, the song come in is, play my whole life out, I map that shit. You can't come here, knock me off, I'm too lit. It's like, that's how I feel, for real. That's what it is. Like, I've really been planning this shit out. I've been having a plan, I just need the platform. Now I got the platform, the plan is coming into action. You feel mm-hmm. me? It's some, it's some real shit, it's like, it's deep. And then I have to put... I put Unholy on there because he a real street nigga. Like, that's one of the niggas I know that's really in the trenches for And his verse was hard, too. I yeah, he in the trenches for real. The way that nigga came in with such, like, the deep voice. Yeah. I played it in the, in my car. Mm-hmm. You know, I know the last time you showed me, you showed me on this little speaker and shit. But mm-hmm. you know how it hit different when you in yeah. the car type shit. So, nigga, I seen you. I dropped the nigga. I went and played it, nigga. 
Bro, the way that nigga slid in, the way you started off, and then the way that nigga slid in, like, mm-hmm. nigga, that yeah. shit was clean as fuck. I was like, damn, nigga, like, oh, HXD is a real blessing, nigga. <laughs> God damn. And so, after his, uh, after his part, because pretty much the hook is both of us, and then he has, like, a little mini uh, piece of a verse, like, four bars or so. I was like, I was thinking of some shit to put on there, but I just like, this, I didn't feel like what I was putting was what the song deserved. So I was like, okay, let me put, let me bring Justin over because I know he's been trying to expand himself a little bit more and he's been touching on different subjects. So maybe he'll bring his spice and bring some more life to it, Yeah. which I felt like he definitely did. His shit was, y'all should have did a transition for him. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that would have been. It's, I like, kind of did like it's, it was slight. Like I had the beat cut out, but since like the vocals were kind of like, the auto tune, it, it makes it seem like it's still instrumental back there. Mm-hmm. But like his little come on, like that shit was doom 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 doom. Like, like I remember him coming on, and I'm like, bro, this nigga has like his own. Like that nigga making his own song on the same beat. Hey, like nigga, that shit. Hey. Was, and I'm glad you said that too, cause like I didn't want to say it and be like, you know, what I'm saying on some weird shit. Like yeah, that nigga, nah, he, he mm-hmm. definitely came in on his own type of timing. Simba, get the. F- <laughs> yeah, bro, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Y'all, my cat just had six kittens, and the dad don't know what the fuck he doing with his life. <laughs> Like, this nigga literally just does shit, like, bro. And then, so, after uh, his verse, I brought in the hook back again. And at first, it was just the hook with the beat being regular. Oh, shit. That nigga, bro. <laughs> but I was like, I need to I need to find a way to make this shit hit a little bit more. Like, I wanted I wanted niggas to hear what I was saying in that hook. Like, I felt like what I was bringing to was like, I, I dug deep within myself to bring that shit out. Because a lot of shit I was saying at the time was just like, just rapping. And he's just yeah. rapping. But I, had, I was speaking for real at that time. So I was like, let me cut the beat out. And at first, mm. that whole eight bars was just silent. And it was just me rapping. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? I told y'all, this nigga does not God. know what the fuck he's doing. He just does shit. That's Simba chat and uh, people that are listening. My cat just jumped on the back of my fucking couch right now. And he doesn't Indeed. know what the fuck he's doing. He's just doing shit. Yeah, so at first it was silent. But I was like, okay. I played it for a few people. I played it for him, actually, too. And they're telling me, like, the beat should come back in a little sooner. So I was like, okay, I got to figure out, like... Also, shouts out to you for your vocals. I remember telling you that your shit sounded low. Nigga, that I listened to that shit. It was beautiful. Hell nigga, yeah. That shit was so, like, I, nigga. I've had a couple people uh, compliment the, the engineering on that song. So. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you deserve... <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. Round of a fucking applause, my nigga. Cause, uh, hey, yeah. W's in the fucking shack, nigga. Yeah, Cause yeah, that nigga yeah. deserves that shit, nigga. That shit was actually yeah. like fucking fire, nigga. Like, nigga, I listened to that shit. And I was like, bro, I can actually hear. Yeah. With this nigga, bro, saying. it's crazy. Cause I put it in Distro Kid, and I was gonna have the uh, the AI lyrics. I wanted to see just if my lyrics were clear enough for it to like hear. And you could pretty much like it. Pretty much guessed all the lyrics, right? Yeah, nigga, <laughs> and that that's. That's one thing, too, like, because, like, I know you make a lot of distorted shit now. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm not hating on the distorted shit, but, like, that's one thing I do want to see. Like, nigga, because I don't know all the fucking words. I'm not going to fucking lie to you. (laughs) Nigga, I would love to just sit there and scroll and sing along with you, though, nigga. That's definitely one thing I do. Yeah, it's it's been a whole thing with trying to put lyrics up. I don't... So, can I ask a question right quick? So... Uh, do you still like Distro Kid? Um... Or like, are you? Have you tried United Masters? Nah, I, I just feel like right now go ahead. to do everything I needed to do. I've been getting my payments and whatnot, and I don't know. This shit can take forever to pay though. That um, shit take. For, I don't unless they yeah. updated from the last time I was on there. But I know like nigga, like every two, three months, nigga, on my uh United Masters, I get a notification. Nigga, oh, your man. payment is ready. Oh, huh? Shit. Damn. <laughs> I didn't even think I okay. made any like nigga, especially okay. like the way I've been doing music lately. I like, I wouldn't even think I made anything. Nigga, they was like, yeah, bro, your payment. I got nigga ten dollars sitting on there, just sitting there. Like nigga, whenever yeah. I want to pull it out, and like nigga, okay. you know my streams ain't even really been hitting nothing crazy like that. So like, nigga, that's one thing that I definitely have wanted to try because of shit like that. Like I wanted to keep up with my streams a little better. It's annoying having to go through. Apple Music for artists, Spotify for artists, YouTube Studio, and do United all that. Masters just to see your fucking, all three right yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's one thing I nigga. definitely do see that I would appreciate. But, like, 
I don't know. Like, I just, I got to play with it. I got to play with it. I How you feel about the pay increase? Oh, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait till that shit kick in. Not even just, show. but not even like, even just on a, on a personal level. Like, nigga, how do you think this is going to affect the game? So, okay. Yes. It's going to get scary because it's going to be a lot of niggas. No one's going to sign to a label anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And so, if you so, are, you're fucking stupid. High key. High key. It's, that's one of the things. It's kind of a sticky situation with the music shit. Like, you can be a successful underground artist and not be signed. But at the same time, you're probably going to be pissed off because you're, you're going to wish. Everything. You're going to wish that you were a star. Like, niggas, nobody, most niggas that make music want to be a star. And you can't lie. Like, bro, yeah. everybody wants to be seen. Like, everybody wants to be that. Yeah, anybody that act like they don't want to, like, nigga, all right, from when I used to do music, nigga, I still get people that come, like, bro, when I move back in from my whole little situation, right, nigga, me and Journey went to go get my shit, nigga, we came back, we went to go uh get some, what was it, KFC, I think, no, it was like church, or some little chicken joint out there in Surprise, right, I'm ordering my food. This nigga come up, he was like, hey, bro, don't you, uh, don't you do music? I was like, yeah, he's like, hey, bro, I got you on, I got you on Instagram. He's like, nigga, whatever you want, bro, I'm about to make that shit fresh for you. Real. Like, nigga, bro, what? if you're gonna sit here and act like you don't want that, nigga, but you're crazy, Yeah, bro. exactly. Shit like that is like, I get, and it's like, it's, honestly, at this point in time with music, it's really unrealistic to get to, like, Michael Jackson levels of fame. Like, you're probably not gonna go... You're probably not gonna be able to not go to Walmart. Like it's it's not gonna be to the point where you go into Walmart. Not off gotta, the rip. I mean, you feel me? Like I, some cases off the rip. But definitely, like there's niggas who rule their little section. Like Jace, I want to say, like in his little group of underground artists, like he definitely has his spot and he's solidified over a lot of niggas. But he's in that spot though forever. Cause and I want people to stop acting like ten thousand people ain't a fucking lot. Yeah. And that too, bro, it should be annoying when, like, they be trying to shit on you because you're doing whatever and you're not Travis Scott. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, bro, like, hey, 30,000 streams, that's cool or whatever, but, like, you ain't really, like, like what are you talking about? 30, <laughs> can you imagine 30,000 people looking at you, nigga? Imagine them right in front of you, nigga. All 30,000 people know who the fuck you is looking at you. Like, bro, that's one thing. I need niggas to go ahead and stop. Nigga, it, it was crazy, bro, because I told... Like, Uncle Donna asked me, so you still doing music and shit? I was like, mm-hmm. nah, I kind of put it on the back burner and I'm more on my podcast now. And I was like, yeah, but you know, I still capped out on over like 200,000 streams. He was like, oh, only 200,000? Only 200 fucking thousand? Only 200 fucking thousand. Like, bro, come on. Let, let's go ahead and stop that. For real. Nigga, you <laughs> never real. even had 200,000 people recognize who the fuck you was, let alone follow any product that you dropped. Nigga, I don't even, I didn't, I wasn't even trying, bro. I'm sitting there fucking around with my music. Don't get me wrong, I have my moments where, like, I spit some real shit. But, nigga, I used to just fuck around. <laughs> I named one of my shit the Shit Chronicles, nigga. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Niggas ate it like it was candy. Bro, this shit is a fucking amazing. It's not amazing, nigga. I shat on you. <laughs> Wipe my ass now, nigga. Like, what the fuck? This shit's... It's just crazy how niggas really treat those numbers like they're just numbers. But, like, nigga, if you have 30000 in your bank account, nigga, you'll do backflips. Like, Facts. Nigga, let's go ahead and stop this shit. Bro. Facts. That's... Hey, bro, for real. Nigga, 30000 is nothing to play with, nigga. Any, even 10000 Nigga, even 1000 Even a fucking... Th- if I had 1000 niggas in here right now, I'll quit my fucking job, nigga, on everything I love, nigga. <laughs> and you know... You know... One thing I think is funny about this music shit too that I've been noticing a lot more, it's the young niggas. And I know it's like, it's the young niggas who was influenced by our era, like the, the, the ex and all them niggas. Like, they be on Instagram arguing with themselves. Like, they'll be like, oh, you bitch ass niggas, da, 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 this and that. And it's like, who? And Nobody's like, talking about you. Nobody's talking to you crazy. Like, you're, you're arguing with shit. You're arguing with air, nigga. Like, hey. You're yelling at your phone. <laughs> You. Like, like it's like, and it's it's some niggas who I know that's like, bro, you you got so much going for you that like you why are you trying to beef with with nobody like you, why are you trying to start a beef like you got 
For you no good, bro. Reason, like, nigga. just do your shit and make your music and keep promoting yourself. Don't be like, oh yeah, everybody's a hoe and you niggas is bitches and nothing. It's like, bro, that's them niggas and like that go back. What to you that, doing? <laughs> that go back to that pump faking shit. Niggas are gonna be in a lane so hard, like nigga. You know, uh, let's play a little game I made. All you gotta do is I got two candy bars. One of them got a blade. You know that nigga? Yeah. All right, bro. They started saying that nigga <laughs> makes there's like drill music, which somebody say young boy make, and then that nigga was like, and then there's demon music. Demon is like demon music's a whole new thing now. Like, nigga, nigga's been doing this shit. Vax. <laughs> this nigga is not the creator of... Like, <laughs> nigga, the word Crash Out just came out. Nigga's been crashing out for how long? Hey, hey, you know, it's crazy. And that shit is crazy too, right? Because I watch uh, this podcast, Community, with fucking AD. He was a rapper and shit. Uh, he was on No Jumper. But, like, now he do his own shit. And, like, he, he an old school crip. So, like, nigga, they always talking about crashing out. And because... They'll get on the, the niggas in the, the stream, then the chat, and they'll be yelling at them. Like, that's their they little mini crash out moment. You feel me? Like, niggas been using that terminology. Y'all know why I ran. And then now people just be like, I'm crashing out. It's like, you're not even. You didn't you even do anything. You don't know what that, you don't even know what that means, bro. <laughs> hey, crash out for real. Hold on, y'all. Pause while we take this shot, nigga. I love how we down the hash that shit with no hands. Pause, oh, nigga. Pause. <laughs> Pause. No, 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 no. No Chat. Diddy. No Chat. Diddy. Nah. Nigga, don't clip me, nigga. Hold on. Pause, nigga. That was wild, <laughs> nah, nigga. You getting clipped, nigga. I'm not gonna lie. Nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Clip it, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Not, not even mean for that, nigga. It's crazy now, too. Because you know how, like, streamers are such, like, becoming such a big thing now. Like, not saying that streamers were never a big thing, but, like, mm-hmm. you know, the streaming community is definitely getting its props now. It's getting its fair share. It's, it's yeah. the, one of the reasons why I'm on kick today. Uh, nigga, clip farming, that's a thing now. What does that mean? Bro, clip farming is, like, uh, you do shit to make a clip. Oh. Like you'll do, oh. some, you'll say <laughs> some crazy shit, or like you'll do okay, some crazy yeah. shit, just so niggas get a like give a react. Like no, I definitely, I didn't know if there was a name for it, but yeah, I definitely been noticing. That you know who, uh, you know who JC is, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know who Clicks is. Clicks is like a Fortnite streamer, Mm-mm. bro. Plays in like professional tournaments and shit. He makes money off the tournaments and shit. Like cool, Clicks, cool, weird. I think that nigga's weird personally. Now, Jinxy and Clicks were like doing a stream. And like they were like one v one on Rainbow. That's like what Jixi does. He like one v ones people or whatever. And this nigga clicks. He he did something. And so Jixi's chat is telling him like, "Hey, bro, like go look at what Clicks just did. Like Clicks just did some wild ass shit." And so Jixi's like, "Nigga, Clicks, what the fuck? Why is chat telling me to look at your your Twitter, <laughs> bro?" This nigga took Jixi's ex and put his promo code on the girl's titties and have like a picture of him and the girl like kissing type shit. Nigga, clip forming like nigga. That's that's that's, that's weird as yeah, fuck. Damn, like nigga, bro. especially since like nigga, you like okay. I get like y'all niggas wasn't like best friends type shit, but like nigga, this is somebody you said you was cool with. This somebody that you doing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh content with nigga, you could clip form, but like nigga, there's levels to shit. Like Facts, that nigga. Bro. Facts. That's like what Kendrick. Oh, what do you think about Kendrick and J Cole? So. I Second haven't listened to it. Ass. I didn't listen to it. I didn't listen to it. I was going to, but I didn't. But what I do know is, nigga, BOW! <laughs> I'm really like that. Nigga. <laughs> nigga, fuck a big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, oh my. I ain't gonna lie. And nigga, all right, all right, all right, all right. Crazy take here. Fuck it. Quit farming right now, nigga. Crazy take. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar is better than J. Cole. Suck my dick. Musically wise, Kendrick oh, yeah. Lamar got it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Like, as a musician and as a whole, hell yeah. Kendrick's way better than J. Cole. No, but J. Like, Cole with his bars, I can give it to J. Cole. I can give it. You got that. But my nigga, we talking like, nigga, feature for feature. Lyrically, J. Cole. Sonically, Kendrick. Nigga, song for song, album for album, nigga. He talking about, he talking about Kendrick last year was a tragic. <laughs> that nigga, Kendrick, nigga. I was looking at this little thing, bro. It's showing nigga streams and shit. Why Kendrick, nigga, Goosebumps, right? They talk about best feature in one of the categories. Mm-hmm. What fucking feature this nigga, uh, besides uh, first person shooter? Hold on, chap. Say what's up to the chat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga confused. Big bad. All right, what's good to the chat? 
Um, <laughs> is there a link? Yeah, I sent it to you. That's what you sent me? Uh-huh. We streaming right. right now. At the zoo. You at the zoo? At the zoo. I was going to say that. I'm like, oh, man, I wanted to go to the zoo. What the fuck? What's going on? Hi, Lisa oh, Lee. Oh, they don't find my baby, boy. I'm out here missing out. Damn. Um, I was calling you earlier. Is you busy? Yeah, low key. All right, I, I'll call you later. All right, then. Call me back. All right, I got you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You said hyenas have the what? The strongest second. bite force. They got the second strongest bite force. Second strongest. Do you know what's the first? Polar bears. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> All right, brother. I'll call you back. Real shit. Speaking of hyenas, I actually seen a video of a a, a giraffe mom trying to save his baby from getting eaten by a pack of hyenas. Yeah. Nigga, I think I seen that shit. Yeah, Nigga, that shit was crazy. Oh, you know how crazy it is that God created them animals like that? Nigga, my PC. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta wrap this up. My whole laptop finna die. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, thank you again for coming out. Hell uh, yeah. Like I said, y'all, follow him on everything. The Real HXD, Instagram, HXD, HXD all music platforms, including YouTube. Y'all check him out. Link will be down in the bio for those watching Indeed. on YouTube. Uh, everybody else, nigga, hit the TikTok, nigga. You will definitely see more of him on that TikTok. It's my point of view, but the O's are zeros. Don't forget it. Love y'all. Stay smooth. Till next time, motherfuckers. <laughs>